Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. It's DIY time and today we're going to be making this I Love You Because mini gift box with lots of surprises inside when you open it. So let's get started. To create this mini gift box, just go to my website at drawsecute.com and print out this free artwork that I've made for you. And um, if you can, it'll be best if you can print it out on a little bit heavier paper. So it's like a stock paper rather than just your regular Xerox paper so that the box, when you put it together, holds up a lot better. And if you don't have a printer, I really hope this artwork here inspires you. You can create it yourself. Just make sure all these boxes right here are the same size when you're creating it and add the tabs along the, these two top panels. Okay, so now that you've um, printed it out, all you're gonna need are some markers or color pencils, whatever you wanna use to decorate your box, a scissor and glue. So now that you have this artwork printed out, I just wanna go over with you really quickly what um, everything is. These are just um, empty cards that I've created for you that you can um, decorate or write whatever you want to go into the box. This is the box itself. And so um, this is going to be the top panel and bottom panel, and these are all the sides. And so this is going to be the front that's looking at you right here underneath this panel. So when we put it together, it'll make sense. But um, I've created this little grid here for you because um, I thought it'd be really cool to do a crossword puzzle so you can write whatever you want. And I'm just gonna turn this around. So this is going to be the top panel. And because this was inspired by Mother's Day, I thought it'd just be really nice to say, I love you because, and then inside is where you put all the cards to say why you love this person. But this is definitely meant for any occasion, right? Just, it's a I love you box, basically. Okay, so then now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead and I have this other one here that I've already done the crossword puzzle. And so as you can see, I wrote Happy Mother's Day. And I'm just gonna go ahead and color that in. I'm going to decorate all these panels and then put it together. And um, so that'll make all make sense. So let's get started. So they're finally all done coloring and decorating and I really hope you enjoyed watching me do that. But before I cut everything, I just wanted to give you a little note on this one right here. I decided to make this one a card and so when I cut this out, I'm going to cut out all around here and then fold it in half. Whereas these are just going to be individual cards. And so let's go ahead and cut it out and then I'll explain everything later. So there, I've gone ahead and cut everything out and I'll just work on this little card here first. And since this is just uh, fold in half, it's just a lot easier. We're just gonna go ahead and fold this card in half. So I really hope that really helps you, um, these cards that I've provided for you. And so this is a little otter and inside I'm going to write, let's see here, of course that there, is oops um there is i should have planned this better right there is 
Uh, let's see here. There is no utter. like you there and I'll just come in here real quick and fix whatever I need to fix but like I said I really hope this mini gift car uh, gift box here really inspires you to come up with your own mini gift box and whatever this person that you're giving it to likes just um, decorate the box with it or whatever message you want to send them okay sorry if that took forever but um and then we can go ahead and let's see here and just add more hearts because there's never enough hearts right <laughs> okay so there is no other like you and then so you have this little card that you can put inside the box and then we also have these individual cards uh, just pun art just very simple pun art and if you need help drawing some pun art just google my draw so cute pun art uh, videos and you can just write stuff or you can uh, put even put your picture whatever you want to put in the box so now we have that, let's go ahead and work on the box. So as you can see, there's these little tabs right here and we need to um, fold everything. And I just wanna give you a little tip. If your paper is kinda of hard, it might not be so easy to fold. So you can just find something at home that you can score these lines with. I'm, I just found some keys and I'm just gonna use that so that you don't rip the paper. But yet you're just making this line that helps you when you're folding. So you can use like a paper clip or like a pen, pen that no longer works. Anything that just has a more like a not too sharp of an edge that you can make these. Uh, you can press down and score the paper with. It's just a little trick to make everything a little neater and easier when you go to folding when your paper is um, thick. So one right here and one more. Oops, sorry. And sorry for all the scratches on my hands. I know they look terrible. I just uh, been taking care of like little kittens that I found, some stray kittens that I found and they've been scratching me up. And so um, <laughs> my hands are just a mess. Okay, so I've gone ahead and scored everything and now I'm just going to fold wherever I see a line. So like here, and we're just gonna keep going. And I definitely have a piece of paper underneath just to protect my table. So that always helps. So I'm going ahead and I'm just folding all the tabs right here. And I've given you these extra tabs on the side because I just feel as it makes everything sturdier. But if you don't wanna cut out all these things, you don't really need all these tabs. Okay, so we've gone ahead and folded and now we're going to glue everything. So what we want to do is, let's see here, we're going to put glue, uh, glue stick, liquid glue, whatever you like, or even tape if you don't have glue. And I'm going to only work on the bottom. The top you don't glue. The top is just to make everything sturdier. But we're just going to put some glue right here on the outside edge. That simple, right? Oh, and this one right here. One more. This one as well. So four of these tabs, and I'm going to put this together. So you just fold it around. I feel it's easier to work on the bottom first. So I'm just gonna connect this, connect the side. So that's why it's just a lot easier if you have stock paper. Everything just holds up a lot better. And ta-da! There! <laughs> We've created, oops, you can't really see, right? Okay, the camera's up there, sorry. So you create this little box, and I'll just come in here and make sure I have everything nice and put together. And then you have your lid. So the lid comes down. Oh, my hands are nice and sticky now. So just make sure this one comes down and then this folds in and 
ta-da, you have a beautiful box for the person you love, right? And so the reason I made this little tab right here, I know it's kind of messy, but it's just a lot easier to open this lid by putting this little curve right here. So now that you have this, let's remove this, you can put whatever you want in here, right? Just little gifts and of course these little cards you've made and you just stick them in here. You can even add some, like get some color paper and uh, let's see here, I can quickly hopefully, hopefully this gives you an idea. You can just put some tissue paper in there, toss in some confetti whatever, right? Whatever it is that you want to put in here and you just dump it in here <laughs> to make it very festive for the person that you love. And that is pretty much it. So like I said, I really hope this inspires you. This doesn't have to be for Mother's Day. It could be for any day for someone that you love, that you want to tell them why you love them. And once again, go to my website at jossetcute.com and download this for free. And this one right here is just where you would just write your little um, crossword message, whatever you want to put, and then you fill in the rest of the blocks with just random letters. And of course, some flowers for the person you love. And you make me happy. Happy, right so once again I really hope you love this uh, mini gift box that says I love you because and um, if you loved it and I helped you out please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic videos see you later